We checked out of our hotel and walked north through Vienna to see another part of the Klima Biennale. In the Augarten, I encountered these one-sided trees that are shaped to mostly have a flat mat of foliage on one side. Across Vienna, there are six of these enormous World War II flak towers, all but one a derelict and home to pigeons now. Some of them have concrete walls up to 3.5 metres thick, making them too expensive to demolish, so they remain as a constant reminder of the war. These grey structures rising up from the green trees around it are terrible unnatural growths that humans manifested, a benign concrete carbuncle of a memory. Part of me, cut off from their intention and history, loves them. The Klima Biennale bills itself as the first ever climate-focused art festival in the world. We had arrived a little early, so I took some photos and videos outside before heading in. Around the ticket desk there was a barrier that asked, why be an artist when you can be an ecologist? The tickets are pay what you like, anywhere between 3 euros and 120 euros for the whole Biennale. I walked past this big woven rug thing collectively made using waste materials. We walked into a room devoted to biomaterials like seaweed and waste wood products. These are deceptively hard to work with, especially at scale. Another room focused on sustainability and reuse. This long corridor had a sound installation of people yelling and screaming in it. I missed the sign that explained why. The main space was rather lovely. I like industrial spaces, sometimes more than art galleries. There was a lot of work to see here, including many of these structures. They looked a bit like the textures of dried cow stomach. I'm not sure if that's what they were made from though. I was juggling cameras, taking video and photos, and just trying to see everything. Sadly, we didn't have much time there to learn about the work as it was time to get the train back to the airport. Before boarding the plane, we got to stand on the stairs inside this plastic tube for a while. The sky was looking pretty dramatic at this point. On the plane, I listened to music and sketched out some quantum biology sculpture ideas for a meeting that I have on Tuesday. I was tired. It had been an intense week, but a really good trip.